And a very good morning to everybody watching this video. Morning! Welcome back to Hold Vlogs with me, Hold Dobbs. And oh my love, everyone, oh it's Tracy. Life. I'm back. And guess what? Oh, what? It's raining. <gasps> in the right in the lake district yeah we do yeah you, now you can see why tracy gives me gray hairs you haven't got any gray hairs i've got many many gray hairs is that from working with me yes <gasps> that's yes. that's actually so violating i know that's a violation i'm gonna take that to hr that's who me. is hr tomorrow obviously is she or freya right yeah i think Frey should yeah be. actually because freya's freya and tomorrow are both pretty scary but Freya's is slightly less scary than tomorrow Oh, I don't know. I would say sometimes actually Freya's more scary. Like, yeah. Because she's, yeah. She is. Freya comes across really meek and mild. And she's lovely. Yeah, but you won't mess Freya around. No, you don't mess mm -mm -mm -mm. Freya around. Freya is the only one that Bailey has ever listened to in his life. Yeah. yeah. That, the kid doesn't even respect his own mother, but he respects Freya. Yeah, but what kid respects her own mother? Um, Me. Really? My mum really? loves me. Sarah <laughs> loves me. Well, of course she loves you, yeah. but you don't respect her. Yes, I do. Okay, if you yeah, say so. I do. Anyway, this is our big baby. He's about to go on the walker. Does he respect her. us more and more each day? Yes. He does. Yeah, he just doesn't respect stone walls. No. Do you? Or gates. <clears throat> but actually, he's or... the only one in the morning when Annie and Bear are in here. He's the only one who doesn't pull faces at me before I give him breakfast. That's true. Yeah, but that's just because Veebs is a copycat. So he just copies Annie, but he can't really do it. It's so half-hearted. Mm. He's like, Ugh! and then you go, Phoebes! And then you go, I'm scared, I'm so sorry! Sorry, Nero, that was quite good. Do you know, do you know what he did yesterday what? when I did a quick live? Yeah. I literally just set the camera to live and he had my finger in his mouth oh. and he wouldn't let go. But this is an opportunity for a quick tip, everyone. So yes. should you ever get your finger stuck in the horse's mouth, Tracy? What do we you do? You just put your finger in the side there where a bit would go, because there's no teeth. And they'll let go. Oi! Yay! Easy as one, two, three. Um, I once made story timer. When I once made a mega error. I'm going to give you the head colour. Because <laughs> once doubts and I was worried she had something stuck in her teeth. So you can <laughs> open the horse's mouth up and kind of stick a hand in to make sure. But the key thing you have to do first is pull the tongue out of their mouth to one side and then stick your other hand in to check. Well, I forgot to pull the tongue out, everybody, and I nearly got my finger removed. <laughs> Honestly, oh my God, it didn't bleed or anything, but the pain, because she literally like, chomped yeah, down on my little finger. And oh, There's a lot of strength in those teeth. There, there is. I to had, be honest, yeah. you shouldn't ever be putting your hands in the back of the horse's mouth, not unless they have a gag on, mm. and you should really leave that to a dentist or a vet. <laughs> well, yeah, but if, they, if you think they've got something stuck in there, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Or you could squirt water in. Okay, that's true. But always remember to pull the tongue out first. Always. Going for little walkies as part of his rehab. He's, he's on his walkies daily still. Somebody asked yesterday uh, whether I was too nervous to take him back in the arena after he knocked me over. I did reply because it's nothing about that. Um, a lot of it comes down to a lack of time, but also he's getting his disciplined walking on the walker. Mm. We're disciplining him and educating him in the stable and in the turnout. And when there is a little bit more time and a little bit more daylight, then I'll go back to doing some more yeah. groundwork with him. But right now I have to focus on actually giving some of the other horses a little bit of time. Um, because since he's arrived, he's obviously dominated my time and i'm feeling very guilty about the others not not getting enough attention from me and the thing is as well stuff like starting groundwork it's something you need to be able to see through consistently so until well, there's the time to do yeah. that it's not in his best interest to kind of start it but like you said in the stable and out in the turnout it's like even here this is establishing discipline because what you're saying to him is okay nero the door might be wide open but you don't push over me or rush out. It's when I say we go, we go, not when you decide it's time. Yeah. So, so we have it in day-to-day -day handling. It's, you know, we're, we're teaching him the way that he, he needs to behave. Uh, but with a youngster, you need to know that there's, there's no pressure on your time. There's no rush. Mm. That you can go into the arena or wherever you're going to train and give them your undivided attention without wanting to do it in a hurry. Because... 
I think the second session we did with him, I didn't have a lot of time. And that's when he ended up pulling away from me because he would have been able to sense that I was in a hurry and I was trying to just mm. get his, his session done quickly. And especially with babies, because if they start really pushing a boundary or there's something you need to start telling them or teaching them, you have to be able to see it through. And sometimes that is quite time consuming. It is, yeah. And you have to end on a good <coughs> note. Because if you, you do. don't end on a good note, yeah. then it takes you five more sessions to get back to where you And are. much like human children, they, they can have temper more. tantrums. A bit like you, Mom. I don't have temper tantrums. No, when was the last time I had a temper tantrum? <laughs> I, think, I think you have more than I do. Yeah, you actually do. I mean, valid reason, but point is, I'm going to go and have a delivery this morning. So we've had some feed, the nice bright buckets down there. Oh, sorry, <laughs> nearly dropped the camera. The nice bright buckets down here are Judy's for her sheep and her cows, which I have to say I'm not jealous of at all. Yeah, just look at how bright they are and shiny and clean. We don't even get to keep them here because they're Judy's buckets. But lucky Judy. Anyway, you know, all the hard feed around the back, you know, use my biceps to hook it around there because my biceps are huge. Um, they're not actually, sadly, but I'm working on it. So we got a lot of this delivered today, which is our balancer. We probably go through, ooh, I don't know how many bags a week. It's got to be at least between three and five, approximately. I know that's a really terrible approximation, uh, but because we empty it into the bins over there, I can't give you an exact number. And they all get this. And this just provides them with vitamins and minerals just in case they're lacking in anything, just in case our grass is lacking, so that they have everything they need for optimal well-being. And should you want to help us provide them with this, it is available from our wish list so that you can help us with that as well, just for anyone that would like to. But again, if you're not in a position to, we're so grateful for your support in other ways. That's it for my fundraising advertisements in this video, everybody. And moving on, here's Kathleen the Carrot, who I'd like to announce is engaged to Nero. That's right, everybody. Nero is to be a married man. Be and watch, everyone. Look, Leaves is supervising me because his mummy told him that apparently I'm not allowed to be unsupervised. It's not bad at their job, everyone. Me. Yeah, sorry I didn't answer your call list because my phone was in the barn and I wasn't in the barn. I was and elsewhere. She, she never generally answers calls to you, as you know. Oh, I know, I know, she doesn't like me, does she? Oh, oh. no, 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 it's because you were going to make me to do my assessment and I didn't want to do it. So I just nah. hoped that if I kept on not answering the calls, you'd kind of... Forget about it. Yeah. I can not forget about you, not when you go to get a distinction. Okay, thanks. <laughs> So, so your email address, Holly? I can't remember. It's a good question. It's hey. Kate, could could you just say for the purpose of the video what how Hull how Hull has done in her assessment? Yeah. Because we're chronically online. Yeah. Wait a minute. So you got a distinction in all three parts. Nice. And the feedback is, you demonstrated a high level of working standards throughout the assessment, showing a good understanding of yard practices, horse welfare and health and safety. You have a confident and calm manner when handling, exercising and caring for the horses, paying attention to their needs. You handled and exercised the horses effectively and competently, demonstrating an excellent rapport and harmony with the horse in all situations, displaying experience and confidence throughout. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> See, and I learned everything I know from Tracy and my mummy. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Now that's so, really good. And I'm Amy saying, was lovely. She was really nice. It might come to Holly or it might come to you, Tracy. I don't know. Sure. Okay. I'll check. Um, it, I, don't, I can't remember. Some of them come straight from the training provider, you see. Others come from college, but... So I'm also the best brew maker in Britain, everyone. That's right, the best brew maker in Britain. So here I am, I'm just banging out Chris a brew before he bangs some shoes on the horses. So in the beginning, I was terrible at making brews before I came the best brew maker in Britain. It's been quite a journey for me getting to where I am in the brew making status. You know, I wasn't always as good as I am now. There was some terrible ones in the beginning. 
Some were a bit too milky, some were a bit cold, some I hadn't left the tea bag in for long enough, some I didn't even have a mug so I served them a jug. But now I am the best brew maker in Britain and this is me making Chris a brew. I absolutely nail these cups of teas. Are sceptical of me being the best brew maker in Britain, everyone? I've seen you make them before, have, so I'm guessing you've improved. <laughs> that is actually a violation. No, but at the start, no. Yeah, at the start, that's what I said. I've, I've had oh, quite a journey really to get here. It. In the beginning, they were appalling, but you know, I kept going, I persevered, I improved. Well I cried into a few of them at the start, they were that bad, but now, now my brews are brilliant. Cool. I'll show you it once I've made it and you can give it the Freya, the Freya test, yeah? Right. You can sniff it. Do you no. drink tea? No, I don't drink tea. You don't drink coffee either, do you? No. I've but, been put off tea. But yeah, I don't really drink tea unless it's like a fruit or a herbal tea. I don't drink any tea. Um, no? Not no. even fruit tea? No, I don't like tea anymore. Why? What was the bad tea experience? If you If you feel this is a safe space to share, Freya. I used to have to drink chamomile and nettle tea. Oh, for your skin. Yeah. yeah. That, like, no, no, tea is a no. Tea is a no, no. I tried green tea. No. Yeah. Thank you for being brave and sharing your story, Freya. That's a true inspiration. I always remember one time when I was drinking the tea, the leaves were still in the mug, and I just remember you laughing at me. Okay, sorry about yeah. that. Although, how old was I at the time? I don't know. It was you and mum. You were stood there. Were we, were we both laughing? Yeah, you were both laughing. Okay, that, that's quite bad. That's I quite didn't bad. realise you weren't meant to drink the leaves. Oh, sorry, that was quite funny. how old I was. Yeah, I was but a small yeah. child then, everyone. My mother, on the well, other hand, was a fully grown woman. I was a small child. All right, I was a small child as well, Freya. Okay. So what, I was a tiny child? Well, I was tiny Why too. Why do you wear a small child then? Yeah, you would have been a little midget. You <laughs> once threw sand in my hair. Sand in my hair, Freya. That's not as bad. Did you uh, at you me sand like in my hair. Teeth? And you didn't even apologise, but you threw sand in my hair. Although I do think you got in quite big trouble for it and you cried because you were in trouble. And I cried yeah. as well because I had sand in my hair. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sand thrower. Bray, tea test. What? Rate it out of 10 for the colour. Yeah. Yeah, 10? Yeah. Or 9? Yeah. 10 out of 10? Well, yeah, because he has it strong, doesn't he? He does, he yeah, does, yeah. That's so fine. We'll go and give this to the man himself. As it's passed the fray test, it's safe for consumption. A nine for the colour, everyone, right? Yeah. How, what about the taste? Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, it's all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah? yeah on on average, um, between me and all your other clients, where do I stand up? I would say nine on colour. Seven on taste. Is it too sweet? Not sweet uh, enough? Just not quite sweet. Enough. Oh, I only gave you one sugar. That's oh, why. Yeah, oh, sorry. Over there. Can't have been heaps. Okay, <laughs> so I needed that, more. That, that's a merit, not a distinction. Okay, that's just yeah. a merit. So maybe I can't lay claim to be the best brew maker in Britain just yet, but with time and perseverance, I'm confident I'll get there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, this is just two slightly old people with glasses on analysing their screens. Chris has to has the text like absolutely huge on his phone, otherwise he can't see it. Yeah. Tracy's not quite at that stage now, yet. No, no, oh, we've got some oh, round the back that might be yours. Do you want them? What are they? Classy. Yeah. Not unless they're pink yeah. and girly enough. Yeah. Yeah, Chris is now in touch with this feminine side. <laughs> no, no, Chris Chris is a real man. And there's Hoitsey, he's going to have his feet done. So I'm just videoing Anne without her permission because I like to violate data protection. But don't worry, I wouldn't do this to you. We're allowed to violate data protection of Anne because Anne's one of our volunteers, therefore being abused is all part of the process. We've come here to fix Anne because yes. Anne has work to do that she doesn't want to do. Yes. Why is that, Anne? Uh, because it's boring. Yeah. Because I'm sat down on my bottom yeah. all day yeah. looking into a computer screen. It's boring, boring, boring. So but why have you come here? Because I love it here. Yeah. Because I can smell the horses. She likes to sniff them. I do that. <laughs> love to sniff the horses. And I need to get a horse fix, a holly fix, a, a Jody fix, a Tracy fix, a Chris fix. And then I'll go back a whole different person. We're fixing Anne, everyone. We are. Anne's also been helping me be my stylist this morning. She's told me to stay an absolute bling babe. You know, she's told me to keep mixing the sparkle with the horsey. I need to share. Oh, okay. 
because I've currently got a sparkly on this morning. Woo! Just wanted I don't to share this. this is. I don't know why. Look my at head that. Bling. 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 Yeah. yeah. We like a bit of bling. Mustn't yeah. stop the bling. Never, never, never. Bling. Yeah. Bling rules. Okay. It does. It does. Where's your bling, Anne? I haven't got any bling. Oh my god, Anne. Um, no I've bling got a bra on. Oh, Anne's got a bra on today, everyone. Guess what, Tracy? Anne's got a bra on. Yay! She's not got bling on, though. She's not got bling, so. Yeah. Excellent! Woo! Woo! <laughs> so yeah, Anne's just about to muck out a stable, which has just been occupied. Is that Annie or Veeves? Annie. Annie. Uh, yeah. So Annie's going to supervise you this morning, Anne. Make sure you do a good job. Perfect. If you don't, you will have her to answer to. Uh, well, I'll have to make sure I raise yeah. the bar, don't I? Yeah. Yeah, you do. You know, otherwise she will write you up on HR. <laughs> And out here is Veebs, who was supervising me, but then he got hungry. Oh, sorry, Veebs, I didn't mean to scare you. Sorry, he's very, very easily scared. Sorry, Veebs, I love you. You're safe. So, yeah, we're just done looking out this morning. So, here's Mr. Milby with his tea cosy. Do you like that? Yeah, yeah, I do. It makes you look like a gnome. I am a gnome. A garden gnome. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. He actually featured in Gnomeo and Juliet, the movie. This is Gnomeo. Gnomeo, Gnomeo, thou yeah. art Gnomeo. Just need a fishing rod and a mushroom. Yeah, good. you're not far off. <laughs> yeah. um, and over here we have Mabel who was playing the role of Juliet. We have we Gnomeo, never saw there. Juliet. I know, I know, I think, I don't know if people on the video are going to see her. She might not show up. <laughs> and here's Jodie who is Juliet's um, walker. Yeah. Just to be clear, Juliet is not one of Mabel's nicknames. It's just for the sake of the Romeo and Juliet story we're going for at the moment. So she's just been for a walk. Then here we have Ren and Yodel. Because this morning Yodel was lying down in the field, which she doesn't normally do. I mean, she got up and she's finding herself, but she's obviously just a bit tired. Because, you know, we have started training more consistently. And she had the physio yesterday and sometimes after they've had physio just because it kind of re maybe realigns and loosens off a few things they just feel a bit like oh so i just brought her in i'm renska because renska's looking tired as well because she's an older lady and during the weather can be challenging they're just going to go and stand under the infrared light for an hour or so just to recharge and have a bit of a break because ideally ren would have a night in tonight but due to hoitzer yeah. being on rest and nero needing a stable and there's needing to bring Hitter in as well as not the room. So she's going to come in and stand under the red lights, aren't you, my sweetheart? Good girl. Yush. And then here's Chris shooing Micah and Anne. It's Anne. <laughs> and then Anne yeah. is supervising Chris's work. <laughs> yes. You make her. Make her, make her. Teddy is rancid. Where have you been? Like, just what have you been? You're not going to get any kissing any girls with a mouth like that. So I don't know why you've come over here. Yeah, because they're not going to kiss you with a dirty little face. They like clean boys. Not dirty boys, clean boys. No, so they ain't going to get any kisses like that. You can try, but Yodel won't have any of it. There's Annie as well, and here's Yodel and Ren, who are just going to chill for a little bit under the warm light. And here we have the pony, who is facing a savage attack by Nero the baby. He's not actually savage, in case anyone is concerned. Nero just likes to play. Hello. It's coffee time now. And Chris, what is going to happen to us if we eat the cake? Yeah, we'll end up like that. Yeah. yeah. Anne, just eat the full one, please. Can somebody have the other half? Anne, just eat it, please. Yeah. Just, if you're going to eat something, eat the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Atch. Sorry, did you just say atch? Atch. Atch. Oh, oh, Atch. I'm a whole one. Totes Atch. Mm. Totes Atch. Right, who wants a chocolate twist? I'll have whatever's left. Muffin? Freya, want, do you want a muffin? Of course, Freya's having a muffin. Micah wants a muffin. 
Oh, see, now, now I don't know what I want. Oh, oh this is so muffin. hard. I might have the twist. Yeah, thank you. I'll have the twist. Look, there's muffin left for you. Yeah, oh, go on, Chris. Go on. Say, no, no, fine. Eat no. Me. Eat me. <laughs> Actually, eat me. <laughs> Annie's always so funny for doing this. Just sticking her head in. How are we doing, my girls? Hey, Yoda. So, oh, we've done a poo. Excellent. Yoda. But anyway, you're happy in here, girlies. Just having a nice little chill. Nice little chill. And it's good for Yodel to come in here because she doesn't come here in here very often. So A, it's nice, but B, it's good for her to